everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Juju and I hope that you guys are having a fantabulous day so guys as you could see I spruced up my background a little bit um, I was actually supposed to do it on another wall but I didn't really like the color of that wall and I was trying to put up like this over the wall it was just not working so I said you know what rather than try to recreate um, an entire different look. Let me just add to the to the background. So, um, as you can see, this is a gumball machine. <laughs> it was actually um, red, and my boyfriend spray painted it pink and black. Okay, and then what I did was um, I added like the the colors of my brand um, inside the um, the gumball machine. You know, the, I added the gum. This, the, the colors of my brand. So does that make sense? So the colors of the gum are the same colors as my brand. Um, so, you know, it's like pink, white, and um, black. And basically these are like the same colors, even um, with Chloe, The Adventures of Chloe, The Yes Cat, my book, how you doing? Um, those are the same colors as Chloe also. So, you know, She's a black and white cat with a pink bow, and um, her color, color is um, pink also. So I absolutely just love those colors mixed together. Even with my room, as you can see, the wall over here, see a little bit of the wall, it's pink. And um, over here, I brought my makeup closer. Um, but before I talk about my makeup, um, this side of the room, the wall is pink, and the opposite side is pink, and then the other two walls are white. And then I have like, one day I'll show you my room. I have like, you know, like my the pictures are like black frames. So it really pops. Um, so yes, I brought my, um, my makeup closer. These are all my lipsticks, at least some of them. I have like another case of this. How I end up with all these lipsticks is because I used to sell for, um, what do you call it? Lip scents. Um, and I actually made a lot of money, but um, it started to become a little bit expensive because what happens is, you know, if you have a great team, like you can, you know, make money. But if, you know, if your team members are not um, pulling in the weight, you know, you end up doing the most of the work. And I was just after a while, I was just not with that. And I find myself like, you know, you had to um, make like a certain amount of money each month to stay at a certain level. And you know, I saw that I was, I felt like I was doing all the work and I was like, you know, absolutely not. So, you know, I kind of like, you know, stepped out. So anyway, I ended up buying like a lot of testers. These were all my testers, which I still have. This was like maybe like four years ago. And these were um, some of them. Um, so that was it. And these are like a lot of these are like my lip gloss some of them are like um eyeshadows also so you know as you could see i have so many it's ridiculous it's like i'll never run out of lipstick <laughs> and you know the crazy thing is i still buy lipstick isn't that sad yeah so you know that's it with that so that's my background um <laughs> so you know who knows what's next but i'm still want to move my background maybe like I don't know in the next two weeks or so because I really have this vision and but I just didn't like the color of the wall so I'm gonna ask my boyfriend to like paint another color or I don't know maybe I'll just put up another color background I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet so that's that um so with that being said guys I'm gonna get started so this is my ipsy bag collection you know every time I get um my collection I like to share it with you guys um, I like to use the products also because it kind of like, um, what I do is if I really like the product, I will absolutely go and buy it. Okay. Um, and it's the few products that I've been using from them. Um, like, let me see. I thought I had, it's on the other shelves. So I was going to show you like, um, one of their, um, the, eyeshadow palette I ordered from them because I just absolutely love the, sh the color I think they sent me another eyeshadow palette in here I believe it's an eyeshadow palette I saw in there um con a concealer 
Um, I absolutely, but love the concealer. I actually ordered the concealer. I didn't, I didn't get it yet, but, um, one of the products was a um, concealer that I really liked. And so I ordered it from them. So, you know, you just never know. They're lotions, they're perfumes. Um, I have that and it's just been amazing. So it's good that they could send samples. And I believe I only paid like $14.99 and they send you a nice sample because the samples last a long time. So I'm going to get started and let's see. So in here, so I'm going to start out with this. This is called Cake Butter. It looks like a lotion. It's by Sugar Rush. Okay. I like to sample their lotions because, as you could see, um, or I should say, as you know, with us nurses, we have horrible hands. So I try to, I like nice lotions that I know that will really moisturize and um really keep my skin hydrated it smells very good and it feels like it could do the job but usually i can't tell until um i actually use the product for like a good week because you know i'll go to work and i'll use this for a whole week and if it if it's if 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 I can put it on and an hour later my hands still feel like this, then you know it's a winner. Okay, how you doing? Yes. So that's that. So let's see what else is in here. Um, oh, this is a gel moisturizer. Okay, maybe I could use this on my face before I get started. Because I didn't moisturize my face as yet. Oh, this is a brush. Okay. Eyeshadow brush. We'll see how it works. And what's this? Oh, this is a mascara. Oh, this is good. So instead of me putting on my fake lashes this time, I am going to just use this mascara on my own lashes and see how it comes out. This, oh, this looks like a perfume. It's um, Skylight Fall Cashmere. I feel like I got this already. <laughs> I feel like I got this in one of my other Ipsy Bag collection. And it smells very familiar. Yeah. Um. Okay, let's see what else is in here. Oh, this is a four-in-one sculpted concealer. Okay, I could use this. I never usually use concealers because I feel like when I put on the um the foundation, liquid foundation, I feel like that's enough coverage. But um, you know, I'm not really a concealer person. Um. Oh, so this is a lipstick. So it's a regular lipstick. It looks like. I think I got one lipstick from them before. I don't know who that's on. That's by. Doesn't say. Okay. And I believe that's it. So that is it, guys. So let's get started. So I'm going to start out with this to see how this um, concealer actually works. Let's see. I'm going to do it under my eyes. And this is my, 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 my sinus line. <laughs> I call it my sinus line because I used to have a lot of um, sinus problems when I was younger. So what ha what happened was I used to go like this with my nose. And I think I mentioned this before. So <laughs> it left back like that line. My mother has it. My sister has it. My brother. We all suffer from allergy problems. It just can't, can't, can't. Okay. And I'm going to put on my on, on normal foundation. Usually I wear a MAC, but I've been using this, the LMA KJ. They actually gave me a sample, and I really love it. So I've been um, taking a little break from MAC. And I've been using this. Okay. Okay. 
if I could find my brush. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to blend in the top here. Okay. I'm just gonna see how this works. Okay, just blend it over my eyes. So as you can see, guys, I never usually wear a lot of um um. Even when I do my shows, I'm, I'm I never usually wear concealer. Um, but you know, it's it's if you want to have that extra flawless look, you know, you can um add the concealer to it. I just want to make sure that my volume was up. So guys, um, <laughs> I forgot, I almost forgot to mention. So by the way, let's talk about my wig. This is actually an old wig that I kind of like revamped. I just put a little bit of hairspray in there. It's actually, the wig actually, comes part in two and all i did was i um just put a headband over it and i pushed it back um and put some hairspray in there and that's it okay so um I, but actually i'm looking i was saying to myself like i think i want to get like a weave like this but i don't know i think you know um like my hairdresser was saying you can get um crochet that looks like this but you know the crochet doesn't last for long and but i would have to make sure that i get some good crochet here but you know i actually like this look and the fact that i can sweep it up off of my face i love it even better uh i used to be a, i didn't like my forehead when i was growing up but let me tell you something something about me showing my forehead now i love showing my forehead because when when my hair is slicked off of my face girl it's just an uh 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 amazing. love it <laughs> every time i do this i just crack myself up <laughs> i just love the amazing it's just i don't know what it is it just really brings out my face um <laughs> But guys, so I'm going to use this. Oh, before I before I go on, let me just. Of course, I'm always dropping things. Um, let me just. Hold on. You see, it's it's it it's such good coverage that I did, I forgot that I have to put on the um. The powder. Almost I got at least I should say. And my eyebrows are already done. I try to do my eyebrows before I come on because it takes up so much time. You know, if I had to come over here and do my eyebrows, it would have taken like another 15 minutes, you know, to get this done. So I try to do my eyebrows before I get on here. Yeah, guys. So as I was saying, um, your girl went to Jamaica last week. So let me tell you how this whole thing happened because... It was so spontaneous, okay? <laughs> and I, I swear those be the best trips. Like where you just don't plan for you, just get up and just go. And because I kept on saying that I want to go to Jamaica, I want to go to Jamaica. If it's even for a week and I want to go to Jamaica. So last week, Monday, um, my girlfriend, you know, she reached out to me and she said, hey girl, you want to go to Jamaica? And I'm just like, girl don't you know i have to plan for stuff like this like i can't just get up and go now she's a flight attendant okay so you know she has that luxury where she could get up and go i'm like okay <laughs> you know so you know but with me it's like i'm like hello like i have to like you know plan for this and i you know i have to you know see how my schedule looks like with my job and you know it's, it's not it's not really easy you know to get off like usually it's two supervisors working but sometimes it's only one so i had to literally 
checking my schedule. Anyway, I saw that it was two of us working, but it's in now. It's like, okay, I hope that nobody else had it in the plan. So, you know, um, I'm like, please, you know, hopefully nobody wants off that day. You know, uh, so I went and I looked at the schedule again and nobody had requested. Because sometimes things happen where people, you know, we may put to work, but things may happen and, you know, we may want off. So, guys, so I'm going to try this brush. And this is called Cella, Cella and Bella Beauty. Okay. Yeah, so sometimes, you know, you just can't tell. So anyway, I checked it, the schedule, and nobody had won it off. So then how I ended up doing, I said, um, what do you call it? Uh... <laughs> Um, the the pro the real problem was Friday. Huh, interesting. Hold on one second. I gotta read this for a second, guys. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. Honey, I can't. Mm mm mm. -mm. I tell you, boy, sometimes you just got to pray for people. Okay, let me just tell you. I'm not going to call no names or anything, but you know, a girlfriend of mine, she is... <laughs> I'm like, okay, let me finish my story first and I go back to my girlfriend. Um. So anyway, the, the, the real problem was on Friday. So I said, you know, um, I spoke to another supervisor and... She, she was in, I say, you know, do you mind if I take off Friday? She was like, you know, sure, you know, she, she didn't really have any plans to take, you know, like, because sometimes I said, sometimes we put down that we could work and things happen. So everything was good to go. So honey, long story short, and I had, I just did my COVID test, you know, the Wednesday, long story short, I was in Jamaica Friday <laughs> having a ball. And when I said I landed, I landed like about 1.30. Um, no, was it 1.30 we landed? We landed like about 1.30, yes. We landed like about 1.30. And honey, when I said, it took us a while to get through customs. The line was long. And you know, the culture out there, you know, it's like I'm Jamaican, but... It's like out there, it's like they, they take their sweet little time. Everything is all good and airy. I mean, but you know, up here with New York, you know, we used to like go, 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 go. Come on, you know, like rush, 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 rush. So it was just very hard for me to just get acclimated to like everybody was just slow. I'm like, what the hell? So, <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> we finally got to our hotel room. Um, Like about. Probably like about two o'clock because it was very close to the hotel. No, it was like two thirty because you know, as I said, it was close to the hotel. And once we we got, we dropped this, dropped everything. I changed off because I had on like a sweatsuit, like a like a you know, um, spandex and a little top. Girl, please, I I dropped I I changed off into some shorts and a little top, and um, what do you call it? We went out and it was by in Montego Bay and we went out into the town and it was just so, it was like people were just partying in the streets. It was so nice. We came back, we went to the pool. I mean, honey, it was just so nice. Then they had like a club, like not even a club, but like a lounge inside the hotel. So technically you didn't really have to leave the resort, but... I had so much fun. Oh, my God. Within that last two days, honey, when you talk about living your best life, this is what I'm talking about, living your best life, okay? You got to live your best life and enjoy yourself. And living your best life doesn't mean that you have to be going out all the time and getting turned up all the time. That's just one way of living your best life. But, you know... Like, honestly, when I was out there, I didn't even really drink that much. Um, 
just to just get up and get away. It was just an amazing feeling. Um, because it was just like so much to do. Um, but you know, I really, really enjoyed myself when I went out there. So guys, okay. So this is the mascara Dito. It's extra scalp volume mascara Dito. That's what it's called. So I'm going to try it. So usually I put on fake lashes. So, but I like to try the, the, the They did send me another mascara one time from there. I don't really like it, but I'm going to see how this one is. Oh, I like the fact that it's curved. Okay, that's a good um, start. Yeah, guys, but I had so much fun. And then um, the following day, which was Saturday, we, um, yeah, we came back. As I said, we went to the pool and then we went to the um, the lounge that they had. They were playing some nice Jamaican music. Oh, that I have not heard in such a long time. And, you know, it just felt so like, and then it's crazy because <laughs> the way I was set up, it was like everything was glass going around it. And then when you look out, you can see the freaking ocean. Ah. Uh, amazing girl yes and even with my room you know i had a balcony i was being very bougie like <laughs> you enjoyed like you could look out and you could see the ocean it was beautiful and then you look down and you could see the entire resort it was this oh beautiful and as i said the next day we got up we went onto the beach and you know, um, you know, they could take you out to the um, you know, with a boat. It was like thirty dollars each person. They take you out on the boat for an hour and you could snorkel and you saw all the beautiful fish. Now let me tell you something, I can't swim. But honey, you should have seen me. I was just being Billy Badass, like <laughs> jumping down into the water. I mean, you had a life jacket on. But even my girlfriend was like, you sure you can't swim? Because you sure? Like, I was just ready to just do it all. <laughs> like, because <laughs> I, I was just so, everybody, she was like being all nervous. Like, you know, she was not going to get into the water because she can't swim. But, you know, they could be a life jacket. But, you know, she was just like, she was not trusting nothing. She was like, I'm not going in there. And, um, but I went in there and it was, I had so much fun <laughs> and I saw the fish. The only thing is that I wish that I could have videotaped like underneath the fishes. Is it the fish or fish? Is it fish? You see, I always have a problem with that word. Is it fish or fishes? Because somebody told me it's, 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 it's one fish is a fish and two fish is still a fish, you know? So... <laughs> It's not fishes, but anyway, they were fish, fishes, whatever. They were beautiful. They were like yellow and black and some was, some was like green and black. And let me tell you something. They were like, oh, that's all that's in the bottom. First of all, the water is clear. So you can see at the bottom, my honey, while I was putting my head underneath, why did I see? I saw an eel, an eel. It was like this long, honey, honey. Huh. Your girl ran so fast. Oh, I should have said swim. So it was, it, but it was like, it wasn't even near me, but I don't know if it was like some kind of electric eel or something. Like I was not trying to get stung and be up in no hospital in Jamaica. I'm just saying, okay. So I quietly like back to the boat, <laughs> you know, calmly. And even the guy was like, you finished already? I was like, gas. I said, there's an eel down there. And he was like, you know, it's like the eel now nah, about you. I'm not about you, man. Sure, I'm not about you. I'm like, listen, knowing my luck, they always be coming after me. They will come after me. And who knows? So, <laughs> but it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Um, as I said, I wish that I could videotape what went on, you know, like, what I saw under there because the fish there were beautiful. And then before we got in, we could have fed the fish. And that's another thing too. I was like, when you threw the bread in there, they were like savages. I'm like, did do, do they like, how, is this the only time they get fed when we come around? 
you know, the girl gave me the hard old break and we threw it in there and they were like, like a school, like they just jumped down of it. So I was a little bit nervous. So I said, I hope I'm not going that water. They don't attack me thinking that I'm food. Okay. But, but you know, they were just swimming right along you. I, I, looking back, you know, I just cannot believe that I actually went in there and knowing what I saw before I went in there. But, um, I had so much fun. Like it was so nice. And then you come back on the boat, you can listen to music and you drink. And I mean, it was like beautiful. I had so much fun. So guys, I'm going to try, um, I don't know what it's called though. Something, something pop, big pop. I can hardly see it. Oh, so this is like, it seems very, um, natural. Like one of those really natural looking lipstick. I know there weren't a lot of these now. So, you know, the mascara is not bad. I'm not mad at it at all. You know, I probably could put a little bit. What was this? What was I supposed to use this? I don't know what this was for. Oh, this was, I was supposed to put this on my face as a moisturizer. <laughs> my bad. That's just goes to show how my, um, the moist the, the face wash that I use it moisturizes your face. I actually use all of Olay, the Regenerous, and it does moisturize your face very nicely. Um, even with just washing it, so you don't have to put too much. Uh, you don't really have to put moisturizer on your face because it really moisturizes your face. Um, so I guess that's it, guys. You know, as you know, I like to um, I don't even know where my lip line is, but I probably don't want to even, you know, you don't have to line your lips. You know, but I, I do. That's my thing. Um, just gonna line it a little bit. So, you know, guys, as I was saying, so, oh, so, so back to my girlfriend. So, you know, I just, I don't know where to start. You know, I don't usually tell people to leave their relationships, but honey, When it comes on to dating a narcissist, God, <laughs> I be telling people to run for the hills. I'm sorry, because let me tell you something. They don't ever change and mm -mm, they're not going to change. It's like you literally dating somebody and you're going to be constantly on an emotional roller coaster. because why I say that one minute. They put you on a pedestal, and the next minute they gaslighting you. It's like, it's the word. And I could speak. I could speak in it because I wasn't really sure with somebody like that for a very long time. And they don't change. They do not change. And as I said, I don't tell people to, to, to leave their relationships, but that one, I'd be telling, I'd be like, girl, you need to run for the hills. Get the hell out of Dodge because they ain't going to change. And... When you leave, you got to leave strate strategically because a lot of them, they're a bunch of lunatics. Usually, usually they're lunatics. So you got to, sometimes you can't just get up and leave. You just got to know how to just leave strategically. Okay? Just take your time and plan. That's all I got to say. Um, But, you know, as I always say, listen, we... No matter how much you could tell somebody to leave, they have to be ready to leave. You understand what I'm saying? They have to be ready to leave. Because it's the same thing with me too. People were telling me to leave, but you have to be ready to leave. You know, so I could just keep praying for her that to give her the strength to, you know, get up and leave and don't look back. Because sometimes we got to be careful too, because sometimes I have known of, uh, women that they leave and then they go back and it's the same thing all over back again lord jesus oh it's crazy just to go through that you know you left it and then to go back again and i thank god that i didn't think about making a move like that because i just once i left i was just like good night no turning back no regrets nothing you know because you have to pray that the devil don't reel you back in Cause, you know he be busy girl 
but anyway guys that's it um you know what can i say oh so did i did i show you my little gumball machine okay let me see it actually works <laughs> It actually works. See? Mm -hmm. Boom. Look at that. Now I would eat it, but I don't want to eat on camera because you're going to see it, it, me chewing it in my in my mouth. And I feel like that's kind of, you know, disrespectful. You know, ain't nobody want to see nobody eating on camera. And then you see it all roll, rolling them out in my mouth looking like garbage. So we're not going to do that today. Okay? So, guys... That's about it. As you guys know, you know I have to always promote my book, The Adventures of Chloe the Yes Cat. It is a very inspirational book. Um, it's for children. The read is like six and up. Um, not only kids get inspired by this, but also adults can get inspired by this also. Um, and my goal that when a child reads this book is that it motivates and inspires them into growing up into like you know confident young adults you know today we have to really encourage us our, our, our kids and give them a lot of love because you know it's so much depression that's going on out there i mean kids as young as nine years old um you know um being depressed so you know we have to really love them and um encourage them and tell them how beautiful they are and that they can achieve anything that they want so with that being said guys i will see you next week you know what to do if you love this video give me a thumbs up you can also share my video and don't forget to subscribe thank you guys and i will see you next week and i hope that you guys have a fantabulous rest of the week Mwah. Bye, guys.